the authorization for using glyphosate in the EU has expired. EU authorities are currently deciding whether to renew it for a further 15 years. The European Commission has in the meantime extended the authorization temporarily until the end of 2017 while waiting for the classification of the substance by ECHA's Risk Assessment Committee. This video explains our agency's role in the EU-wide classification of glyphosate. ECHA manages the classification process under the classification and labeling regulation. In that process, we look at their hazardous properties, which means whether they are poisonous, flammable, corrosive. For certain chemicals, such as for instance pesticides, there is usually a harmonized classification at EU-wide level. Companies have to apply this harmonized classification to all their products and provide the right warning on the label which workers and consumers can see when they buy these products. I want to stress here that we only look at the hazardous properties of a chemical, not at the risks which may occur once you use the chemical, once it is in a product which contains uh, the pesticide. These risks are assessed under the pesticides regulation and that is not in the remit of ECHA. As for any other substance which undergoes a harmonized classification and labeling, we have here a dossier which has been submitted by an EU member state, in this case Germany, and we have published this document uh, as part of a public consultation. RAC prepares scientific opinions uh, and makes recommendations to the Commission so that they can make decisions on chemicals. The scientific committee is composed of members from nearly all of the European member states. They're nominated by their member states but appointed by the management board of ECHA in their independent capacities. We organize comprehensive public consultations on all dossiers and in particular this one. Anybody can contribute to a public consultation and provide information which then has to be taken into account. We received close to 300 comments those comments have all been published on our websites and in a later phase of the process the dossier submitter and the committee rapporteurs will respond to those comments in full. Unusually for this dossier a number of presentations to the RAC have been invited from different interested parties and these are the German dossier submitter, uh, the European Food Safety Authority, the Joint Meeting on Pesticide Residues and the International Agency of Research on Cancer as well as the Glyphosate Task Force representing industry and the Health and Environment Alliance representing civil society. And all of these will present to the committee today their views. Glyphosate is a very important pesticide. It's widely used by farmers in Europe and it's a really important tool that they currently have. It is well known that uh, there are contradicting opinions about the uh, effects of glyphosate on human health. Carcinogenicity and the mutagenicity and developmental toxicity of glyphosate are of concern to many people. In the case of glyphosate, the major point is that transparency really needs to be part of this process because the people want to know, and, and if you're not transparent, um, you're going to lose their trust. The process involves a public consultation where all stakeholders, um, whether it's civil society, industry, or just interested parties, can provide any information they wish. If somebody wants to see the comments from different uh, stakeholders, from the different member states, and how this comment has been taken into account, it's available. For glyphosate, we have published 6,000 pages. Um, what today is about, that ECHA have actually given stakeholders an additional platform to come to Helsinki and directly exchange views. They've provided the uh, NGOs in Europe with a slot to give their opinion of what's going on with glyphosate. So that is, I think, a, a very important step forward. Um, the RAC is in the position uh, to make independent um, evaluations and they are not obliged to follow previous evaluations by other regulatory bodies. I uh, expect and hope uh, that ECHA is uh, taking care of all the arguments, taking uh, into consideration the existing evidence. So I think they will um, uh, come to, to a balanced conclusion on glyphosate with regard to the different endpoints. 
We expect that ROC will adopt the final opinion this year. ECHA will then submit the opinion to the Commission, who takes the final decision on the classification of glyphosate. They also take the opinion into account when deciding whether the use of glyphosate in the EU will be continued.